Hi my sugar pups, it's Nisha. So today's tutorial is the smoky plum look. Um, I posted it on Instagram I think on Sunday and I thought I'd do a tutorial for it. So for this look I used um, smoky plum from Clarins with single eyeshadow. Beautiful. I, I think I've shown you this one in one of my Friday videos and then I use some Inglot shadows I love my Inglot eyeshadows I make my own palettes as you know you can buy them the quality is fantastic you get twice the amount of MAC and color payoff and the choice of colors is enormous it is a bit hard to buy online because the swatches there is no proper swatches online but you can look here on YouTube a lot of people have swatches of um, Inglot so um, from this little palette I like this palette I've made that because I do my really uh, intense smoky eye with that and I've done tutorial on it so this is my palette for that smoky eye but for this look I use the matte one here which is 376 matte unfortunately um, Inglot don't have names, they just numbers. And from this palette, I have used this pearly pink, which is 397P, a bit of that sort of lilac pearly, 399P, and um, yeah, then this matte, 378. So, if you want to see how this is done, keep on watching. Okay, so today as a primer I'm going to use e.l.f. in Champagne. Only because it is not too white. It sort of has that pinky, plummy undertone. Always underneath. Um, so for this look, um, we'll need so now I'm taking the Clarins single eyeshadow in Smoky Plum. And I'm going to be using my Sigma E45 and I'm starting a bit different. I'm not putting any base color first. I'm going to, for you hoodies, find my crease. So look forward, about here. Then add surprise and make the arch. And don't worry if it looks a bit harsh because we're going to blend it out. So today I'm using E40. It's quite a big blending brush and very soft. And that's because I'm not, I want it to look a bit like a wash of color, you know, to wash it out. So. I don't have to be that precise with my blending. Okay. And now I'm going to use from my Inglot palette 376 matte. Sorry, they don't have names unfortunately, just numbers. But I will list them all in the description box. And then I'm going to use a bit of Inglot 378 matte, which is a bit different. Can you see this one is a bit more 
uh, purpley and this one is more plummy. Just in my outer V and keep blending it. Always upwards, don't go down. Now I'm going to fill this space up and I'm going to do that with Inglot 397P which means pearl. It's a beautiful pinky pearl. I love this shadow. Actually I haven't used my Inglot eyeshadows for ages. See, it's a beautiful pearly one. I might add as well a bit of that one which is 399 pearl and that's like a um, very pearly more sort of lavender colour so I just put it here. Okay and now back to my smoky plum and just keep working on this outer V, making it darker. So I'm gonna just keep going back to all these other colors that I have used. And then keep blending. Now my lower lash line, I'm going to take one of um, any of those small angle brushes. Going to Clarins Smoky Plum first and just draw a line underneath my eye. Then I'm going to go into the Inglot 376 um, mat and Put that just on the outer half. Okay, and now I am going to do my liner. And for this, I will use my Inglot Gel Liner in 74, which is a beautiful, again, like a purple plum. I cannot stress enough how much I love this um, gel liner. It looks, it's, it's a bit cracked, but that doesn't mean it's dry. It's like butter, honestly. I always forget I need to buy the black one. They do them in so many different colors. That thing is like butter. Look, I don't even have to stretch my eye because it's so, so creamy. But for more precision, I will. <laughs> I just love it. And I love that color. It's like, if you don't want anything to black, this is gorgeous alternative. And here I'm just following the line with my eyeshadow and then bringing it down here. Oh, I love it. And then I will put it a bit on my lower lash line, just on like a outside portion of it to join it with this one. I love this line. I could play with it all day. See if I want a bit more shadow here. Compare the two, see if you need a bit more anywhere. Do the last bit of blending. And I might put that lovely pink pearly one a bit under my 
brow. I don't normally do that, but I thought I'd do it today. A bit much, isn't it? Let's blend that. And now what's left is mascara and I will use my Max Factor Experience. Okay, so that's the eyes done. Um, for my blush today, I'm going to use NARS Desire. So this is Desire and that highlighter is Hungry Heart. I know it looks really, really bright, but it blends so lovely. I absolutely love that blush for that pop of colour. a bit of that Hungry Heart highlighter, although I don't think much of it. And for my lipstick, I am going to use, well, lip liner, Rimmel Eastern Snob. I like this lip liner, it's so versatile. It goes with so many lipsticks. For my lipstick, my gorgeous um, Revlon Lip Butter in Cupcake. I think I need to get another one. And to make it even glossier, I am going to use my Gosh uh, Light and Shine Lip Glaze in number one. Oh, gorgeous. You see that light in it? <laughs> and this horrible brush. They really need to do something about this brush. Mental. Mental. So, that is the finished look. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and I see you soon. Bye.